the number one cable news show for eight years and counting, The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks, Dan with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Is It Legal segment tonight. John Travolta expected to testify in the extortion trial related to his son's death. Awful story. Anna Nicole Smith's doctor is in even more trouble, if that's possible, and a huge lawsuit against Walmart. In Arizona, a couple takes some pictures of their daughters, ages one, four, and five, playing in the bathtub. They then bring the pictures to Walmart to get them developed. Store, concerned about child porn, doesn't know where these pictures came from, calls the authorities. Child Protective Services removes the children from the home for more than a month. Eventually, the pictures are deemed to be innocent, but the damage was done. Trying to be strong for your children when they're being ripped away from you and you can't make sense of it or answer the question of when they ask you where am I going and you can't even tell them where where they're going and you've told them nobody will ever do anything to you mommy and daddy will always be here you wonder if your kids can ever trust you again a nightmare now a huge lawsuit by the parents against Walmart joining us to comment attorney and Fox News analyst Lise Wheel author of the book face of betrayal an attorney in Fox News anchor Megan Kelly. I mean, this is terrible. This is awful. Mm, and now, I, and, and I don't think there's any malice here. I, I mean, if you're if you're in Walmart and you see questionable pictures, what do you do? Yeah, and that's the problem for these parents in their lawsuit is that there's a qualified immunity for those who report suspected child abuse, and the only way you can get past, you can pierce that immunity, is if you can show malice. You can show that they weren't acting in good faith in doing the reporting. And I just don't see the facts to support that here. So it is a tragedy. The parents are doing the right thing in terms of getting the story out. So other parents know that this is something Walmart does that others may do so that they can at least advise themselves. You know, you don't have to sure, go through sure. Walmart if you don't want to. But, you know, most people have the digital cameras fail. these days. They don't even have to do this kind of stuff. Um, but it is disturbing, Wheel, because people were hurt. Right. The children were hurt. The parents were hurt. Absolutely. The store doesn't seem to have done anything wrong, although I don't know what the judgment is because I haven't seen the pictures. How do you read it? Well, they had an unsuitable print policy, which apparently would say to these parents, look, if we don't like these pictures, we're going to turn yeah, them over to law enforcement. Right. But they never told the parents this. How about, Bill, how about you just pick up the phone and dial the number that's attached to, I mean, because you have to put your phone number down and say, you know, who are you? Are you the parents? Are you somehow related? I don't know, if, that's, I don't know if, that, if a Walmart clerk comes under the job heading there. No. And, and yeah. what, if, what if you get a, a true perv on the other side? Yeah. I mean, they're not going to say anything. Have figured it up. They, but they, this guy looking at these pictures didn't know what kind of he didn't know what to do. With. He and, didn't know what to right. do. And, and wouldn't we rather have these guys erring on the side of protecting uh, children than on the side of not? Well, you wait, what do you, you say? You've got, I'm sorry, you've got kids in three or four that are clearly just taking a bath. Was you it clearly? That, I've yeah. seen the no, pictures. I have seen, I've not no, seen haven't. all the pictures, but I've seen some of the pictures. Well, that's the yes. problem, Lise. No, and that some of the genitalia was showing, apparently, but that's a child that you're talking about you with the parents. You have seen the it's, photo. Right, and it's right, good let's, that let's, it was taken not by a digital camera. If, it, if this had been something that was put up on Facebook or the Internet, I feel completely all right, let's, different. Let's advance the story now. So, though, it goes to court. It's an active lawsuit, yes. right? It goes to a jury. It's going to go to a well, jury. You know, it could get thrown it could out get of the settled. papers. It's probably it could get, get thrown, thrown out. out of the you papers. think it's going to get thrown out? Yeah, because they have a legal defense. They don't have to argue the facts. They have a legal defense, which is we're immune unless they can allege bad faith or malice on our part. And so that, that's a statute. That. Yes, so, that's the law. And the judge is going to have to go along. For very good reasons. Do you reason. agree with that? It's right reports of child abuse. I just think it's, it's not malice, but it's absolutely neglect. But look, if the statute's there, if they have immunity. They have no. The, the law enforcement has immunity. Walmart doesn't have yes, immunity. Does no, lead. Walmart does not have immunity I'm sorry. on that. You need to well, well, let, 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 so let Kelly neglectful. and she says Walmart has Lisa, immunity. I'm sorry, but you are abs. Let, let me finish. You're absolutely wrong. But there is a specific statute in Arizona that says reporters of suspected child abuse they are also, had to, let, let me finish are also protected. And there's been court rulings in similar jurisdictions with similar laws that expand that to clerks they, at stores they like did Rite not Aid and Walmart. Tell them about the unsuitable poli print policy. They that didn't matter, warn Lisa. them. They didn't what do, store? they acted in neglect and they because defamed they these immunity. people. The they woman lost right, their I'm job. I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna stop it. So you you don't think it's gonna get thrown out? I think it's gonna go to court, whether they'll actually right. win, I don't know. No. We'll see, right? It, now, we'll see. If you're wrong, you got to buy her a real big dinner. And if you're <laughs> wrong, you have to buy her a big dinner. I don't think I need dinner. any big dinners. Big dinner. <laughs> well, you're going to need a few big dinners. Uh, <laughs> we'll need dinners uh, after after right, John, <laughs> Let's do a spa day. We uh, Travolta, John Travolta, son right. dies uh, in uh, the Bahamas. Tragic uh, accident. Um, and now uh, somebody's so charged cool. with extorting, trying to extort money from Travolta to keep the story quiet, I guess. Right. And now it's underway. 
Tell us what this is about. Yeah, a paramedic and a politician put them together, said that they were going to extort 25, or going to try to extort $25 million from the Travoltas. Why? Because Travolta apparently signed a refusal to transport document. In other words, when the paramedic arrived there, he said... He, he didn't want the boy. He didn't want the boy. He may not have realized how badly off the boy okay, was. Okay, so they threatened him with exposure yes, of not of having him unless they paid him. Exactly. Okay. Apparently, now. it's on tape. No, 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 no. But 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 the authorities came out and said John Travolta did not sign that document, which is one of the biggest mysteries of this right. case. How is he being threatened because he didn't sign that document? So well, he couldn't why, be threatened by pictures. There could be some pictures. This is what I heard, and I could be wrong. That they took pictures of the dead boy, and they said unless you pay. We're going to put those pictures well, out. that'd be a different story. Well, okay. well and That's also the, the police are so, so saying that he didn't sign it. What you're both saying, though, is, is this, the whole case is shrouded in mystery right now. Right. Yeah, Okay, right. we really don't know. Right. Yes. What they, okay, so and we'll wait. We're not going to gonna speculate. We don't do that here. All right, now, Anna Nicole Smith, again, she dies uh, of a drug overdose, a lot like Michael Jackson. Uh, there she is. She's got two psychiatrists, or one psychiatrist, another doctor, giving her massive amounts of narcotics. And now the state of California, and I don't know what reason they would do this, Kelly, says not only were the doctors given her narcotics, but they were sexually involved. Why would they do that? Because they're just showing that yet another ethical line has been crossed by these two. They've got video of the one on the left. That was her internist uh, licking her face. Oh, here there it is. is. <laughs> and then you, the woman on the right was her psychiatrist. And she, too, was allegedly uh, involved in a sexual tryst with Anna Nicole in some bathtub naked. This is according to reports. Now, if that's true, you may not know, but your psychiatrist is not supposed to be sleeping with you. But if they're charged uh, with all kinds of criminal uh, homicide, neglectful, whatever it is, I mean, why, why bother with because this? Because it's just one more ethical line that's been crossed. Well, and once you show that to a like jury, that. they'll see. But there's see. no criminality there, right? This but is, there's an ethical civil. line. There's an ethical and there's line. two investigations underway. One right now is criminal and one relates to they whether they should lose it, right? their licenses. No, they've been charged. Yeah, what yeah. have they been charged Those with? two, along with Howard K. Stern, charged with giving her, uh, causing the acute com combined drug intoxication death. Preliminary Inspiring to provide her with controlled substances. Right. All right, so on a, on, a, on a hearing on October 5th, yes. they're going to say, look, we're going to charge you with what? Involuntary manslaughter, that, you know, they prescribed 300,000 plus pills that they shouldn't have. Now, what's really going to be interesting. Is that what it's going to be, involuntary manslaughter? Advanced, involuntary, involuntary manslaughter. They didn't intend to kill her, but as the pharmacist who came out said this was pharmaceutical In California, what, what's, what can you get for that? You know, I don't know exactly. It's probably, the, I mean, probably it's about the 10-year range. The current charge is bad enough. The consp conspiracy to provide these controlled substances. And in support of that claim, in addition to the sex talk, they, the, the uh, DEA came out and released documents showing that they had been, uh, that this, this pharmacy had turned down, three pharmacies three, had right. turned down the prescriptions that had been turned in by Anna Nicole Smith's doctors. In other words, these doctors tried to get these prescriptions filled, and three pharmacies said, no way, that is a suicide but cocktail, clearly, and we're not filling it. Clearly right. they found a pharmacist that would that so were willing slam, to do it. So it's almost that, a slam yeah. dunk that these two doctors are going to be convicted of pretty serious criminal yeah, charges. Very bad yeah. And then they just ladle this other stuff on them. Just to say, and, look, and if their depositions they're, they're out there, totally they're dirt bags. And if they're, yeah, they're totally irresponsible. Yeah. If okay. their depositions out there that have already been taken under their civil cases, where they've said, "Hey, we knew nothing about no, the drugs," toast. that comes in. Their lives are over, these doctors. All right, ladies, thanks very much. Very interesting. Yeah. In a moment, the Great American News Quiz featuring.